You absolutely can't make it up. For legal reasons, this video is entirely satire, practically speaking. Welcome to The Real Report. What a Tuesday so far. Sheesh, the Powerball lottery isn't the only thing that isn't immune from tampering or technical issues or probably the Russians. This is absolute insanity. I started recording as soon as I could, as if the 2020 election debacle wasn't bad enough. Not only have we not learned any lessons, improved security, restored the public's trust in our democratic process, us. We have instead uh, of pipe leaks, now pipe bombs, faulty machines, broken ballot printers, suspicious employees, and it's any wonder why the AG and National Guard were brought out. We're going to go through all the tweets and clips I've found as of noon today, Tuesday, November 8th, 2022. Let's get into it. Of course, take everything on here with a uh, grain of salt. Now, without further ado, bomb threat at the Uptown Kenner, Louisiana suburban polling location. The poll location has been moved here from Layla McNeil, WDL TV, uh, one of the Channel 4 CBS New Orleans reporters. Kenner police are investigating a bomb threat at a polling location. Kenner Discovery, Jefferson Parish election officials tell me voters who normally vote there must go to cast their ballot at Audubon Elementary instead. Just one example of polling locations moving and a bomb threat. Okay, here's a clip. Times more votes than you have right now. And I'm by the way, wouldn't it be better for us to panic and not celebrate? You expect me to bring champagne on here right now? I'm telling you right now, no, the no, modeling there, is not there. There. Three, there are three rushes on election day. There's the early morning rush, there's the lunchtime rush, and it's your after work rush. Mm -hmm. What Charlie is saying here is that first rush did not come in in the numbers that we needed Didn't. to have it come in. Yeah, and we don't know it. Tyler Boyer says we are on track to lose. So look, I mean, if you guys think that's the problem, then you can stay at home and enjoy a Katie Hobbs governorship. I sure hope people start turning out, right? And Look, I'm panicking because you need 10 times more votes than you have right now. And I'm by the way, wouldn't it be better for us to panic and not celebrate? You expect me to bring champagne? Charlie is saying here is that first rush did not come in in the numbers that we needed Didn't. to have it come in. Yeah, and we don't know it. Tyler Boyer says we are on track to lose. So look, I mean, if you guys think that's the problem, then you can stay at home and enjoy a Katie Hobbs governorship. I sure hope people start turning out, right? And look, I'm panicking. So, you know, it's obviously questionable what the voter turnout is already. Here's another one out of Scottsdale, Arizona. 11,735 North Scottsdale Road. Machines are down all over the place. Many couldn't even get to their uh, get their votes counted. This is happening all over. Or is it just Maricopa County or the country? Why is this happening? Of course, they're interviewing some of the locals. Awesome. I don't let's even go believe I We're at this there. location and their voting machines are not working properly. They don't count the ballots. You go in to register, they give you a ballot, which takes like 20 minutes, which is ridiculous. You go in, you place, you do your voting, you go in, you give it into the machine and it won't take it. It says misread ballot. Every single person in there is getting a misread ballot. Oh, no. So now all just they have to them drop into them into the box so hand, hand counted, supposedly Ultimate. hand counted. Yeah. My husband's done two ballots. He had to do a canceled ballot. The second ballot he went in to vote same thing. So every person in that line now that's standing there is not going to get counted properly that we don't know. So, I don't Let's go There's I one example. Here's the yeah, next sure. one. Yeah, I'm at the North Scottsdale United Methodist Church on uh, Tuesday, November the 8th, Election Day, and it's 1033. Uh, I've tried to vote and neither machine in there, neither ballot machine will accept ballots. There's numerous people in line, and every time it's either rejected or misread. And they said there's a drop box we can put it in. They said it will be counted. Uh, but I was adamant I did not want a provisional ballot to be counted in, in case of. I want this ballot to be counted. And I tried to call a Republican uh, National Party in Phoenix, and I uh, tried to call a number that they gave me inside here, 602-506-1511. And it's just uh, endless prompts, uh, never get to talk to anybody. And the name is Joe O'Neill, Scottsdale, Arizona. All right, let's move on to the next exhibit. GOP chairwoman over 50 Maricopa locations affected by malfunctions. Kelly offers advice about avoiding box three. Recall box three option from 2020. They're electronically adjudicated on screen and a person edits which boxes are filled out. It's great to talk to you and uh, I'll tell you, I don't think that Maricopa County election officials know what's going on in Maricopa County. It is a total disaster. Over 21% of the polling locations that they've set up, 233 in total, 
uh, over 50 right now, affected by tabulator malfunctions. Uh, they, they, the voters are showing up. They're being told that the tabulators don't work, that they can just simply fill out their ballot and put it into box three or drawer three. Now, if you remember from 2020, drawer three, box three, those are all the ballots that they send to digital adjudication. Those are the ballots that someone else gets to decide how you voted. So my advice is do not put your ballot, your precious vote, your voice into a so-called secure box in Maricopa County, unless that is the only thing that you can do to make sure that you actually cast a vote. Otherwise, go to another polling location. You can find them at maricopa.vote. You can find where they are. Check with the poll workers who are there to find out if the tabulation that location are working. If they are not working, do not sign in. Once you sign in, you're like a prisoner in that polling place. You've got to cast your ballot there. They're not gonna let you just stand around inside the polling place saying, I'm waiting for the tabulator to work. Uh, one option you have is to ask for the accessible voting device. And it takes a long time to use, but hey, your vote will... So as you can see there, they're obviously having plenty of problems. I'm not going to play the entire 6 uh, minute 46 second clip. I do want to point out that in the 2020 election, the Maricopa County fact check, quote, no evidence uh, dispute was that Maricopa County accepted over 18,000 ballots more uh, the day after then the margin of i think it was ten thousand, like 500 ballots uh picked up by ups so they accepted at least twenty thousand mail-in ballots after the election uh eighteen thousand more than the entire margin uh, obviously changing the tide now of course according to reuters that was fact checked no evidence a lie you guys can obviously read between the lines Moving on, election officials message, system requires a hard shutdown, hold the physical power switch until the system shuts down, then restart. I don't know what uh, in New Mexico machines they're using. That is, of course, just from a general poster. And here's another clip. They were going to cheat. It should not take a week to count ballots. They told you they were gonna cheat and you should have believed them. Bottom line, in this political climate, where Republicans are polling better, where the average American is suffering, where Democratic policy has failed, where Democrats focused on abortion instead of the correct messaging, Republicans should win this election 10 times out of 10. If Democrats win this election, it will be because they cheated and they let you know they were going to cheat. It should not take a week to count ballots. There is no such thing as a red mirage. ABC shouldn't be able to run articles that say Republicans are going to have a big lead and then big ballot dumps are going to take place over the next week and break that lead down. Bottom line, there is too much on the line. Republicans cannot accept a loss this election under the circumstances. And now the DOJ is interfering in several precincts. So, uh, you know, like I said, for... Uh reasons guideline reasons that is unequivocally and absolutely false and this guy is a certified looney tunes nut job conspiracy theorist <clears throat> again read between the lines all right central christian voting station in Mes uh, mesa on uh, lindsey and brown the machines are broken we got turned away unacceptable and this is the what what station is this Okay, um, this is the um, Central Christian Church, and none of the machines are voting are right. working, and they are telling us that we have to leave. Um, and so, this is now happening here at this voting station, also at Central Christian. They are not letting you vote; you have to go to a different spot. Okay, there's another example. Moving on to the next one. Election 2022, judge blocks Arizona County's plan to conduct full hand count of ballots from the current election after Republican officials complaint that vote counting machines are untrustworthy. Uh, and then we have this today. Of course, here's the article from the AP. You can go look it up. Arizona County's plan to hand count ballots blocked by judge. And we've also got Maricopa County's recorder, Stephen Richer, and chairman of the county board of the supervisors, Bill Gates, confirm an incredible 20% of polling places are experiencing problems with machines tabulating 
votes. This is manufactured chaos. Stay in line, vote in person. Of course, another nut job conspiracy theorist. Anyone who questions our democratic elections integrity, um, you're probably a trans uh, phobic, Islamophobe, bigot, etc. Uh, when people will go and the, and the recorder run uh, elections here in Maricopa County as a team, and we're very excited about how uh, things are going today on election day. We had all 223 vote centers have opened. We've already had over 45,000 people who have checked in and, and already voted today. We did want to come out and discuss one issue that's going on out there in about 20% of the vote centers. Again, we have 223 vote centers across the county. In about 20% of those, uh, when people will go and they try and run the uh, ballot through this tabulator, maybe one out of every five or so of those ballots, they're not going through. Board and the recorder. <laughs> so, uh, what is that? Roughly 50, just shy of 50 voting centers, and at every single one of them, 20% of the votes aren't being counted correctly? <laughs> that is incredible. <laughs> Oh my god. Latest guidance for Maricopa County voters. If you've checked in at a Maricopa County voting location where tabulators don't work, you should not leave and go to another location without casting a vote. Your provisional ballot at a new location likely will not count. Continued. This is from uh, Harmeet Dillon, a uh, Liberty um, Chair. Rep lawyer, GOP uh, spokeswoman. If you've already checked in at a Maricopa County voting location where the tabulators do not work, you can, one, wait for the ballot to be tabulated on site, two, ask to use the disabled voting machine, or three, leave your ballot in a box to be counted later at HQ. Three, if you have not checked in to vote at Maricopa County and you are informed that the tabulating machines are not working there, you can go vote at another site in the uh, county. Here's a list of fine places with small lines, elections.maricopa.gov. And four, if you're leaving your ballot in the box to be tabulated later, Later, we have trained Republican volunteers who will follow and track the transportation of these ballots and monitor their counting. This was prearranged given prior issues in Maricopa County. Still do vote. Get out there if you've checked in. Voted at a place with a non-functioning tabulator or and left your ballot in box number three to be tabulated later. In most cases, this should be tabulated tonight based on prior elections. It's the third option. Second option being using the disability machines. Get out there and vote. Nothing's working. Here's another clip. So it didn't, it got misread, but then what was happening? You put it in there. Yeah. And tonight, a Republican and a Democrat will sit and go through all of the misread ballots all over the county okay. and count them. And it okay. will get counted. Okay. And okay. Both, and both machines were not working. Yeah. No, okay. nothing's working in okay. the last half hour. Nothing. Thank you. So nice. There's uh, another example. And here's another one, Maricopa County, voting locations having technical difficulties with their printers. Folks are being urged to visit other locations in order to cast their ballot. Might want to go somewhere else, guys. Their printers are all screwed up. I will also play this clip. And if it's wrong, then they put it in some other ballots or send out to somewhere else that the printing machines are screwed up he's here in uh, the year 2022, uh, we can't even vote more efficiently than they could 70 years ago. Nice. Don't worry, though. Jen Circleback Sacky says, don't freak out. Early alert for tonight. Pennsylvania reports election day results before mail and ballot results, which will make the early reporting look skewed to Republicans because more Dems vote by mail. 70% of requested ballots this year were Dems, so hang tight tonight. Uh, as the comments lull, the side that's telling us they can control the climate needs days to count votes. What a joke. Here we go. Cheating has started, supposedly. Um, this was, of course, the first tweet that I showed you guys from the news reporter from CBS about the polling station temporarily shut down due to pipe bomb threat. Again, that's very reminiscent of the pipe leak. 
and polling location at 1525 North Power Road in Mesa. Voter reports that only one in 15 ballots are being read by the machine. So some places we have 20%. Now they're saying one in 15 at this other location. Machines are still warming up. You can drop your ballot in the drop box. Nice. I'm getting flooded with calls and text messages from people who are having trouble voting all over Maricopa County. This is why we must reform our elections. Start from the beginning and repeat that. So what happens is we have two tabulators. One of the tabulators is not working, okay? The other tabulator is taking about 75% successful. So 25% of them are being misread, and it could be a printer issue. Oh, 25% um, of them, no big deal. the tabulator itself. So when it's misread, you have an option to put it into what's called box three, and it gets read, whether it goes downtown and gets read manually, or whether it gets refed in into our tabulator. You don't want to adjudicate. You get read, no. okay? So no one's trying to <laughs> deceive anybody. Of course not. Not on election day. That would never happen, right? No. That would never happen. So so choices are, you know, you guys. Sure. If I get up there and that happens to my ballot, can I take my ballot with me and go somewhere else? You do not leave these premises with the ballot. Sorry. And there's not, there's not even Because I don't trust going to box. The box may never be. No. No way. All the time. The choices. I'll come back. This is absolute insanity, and it just continues. Again, another one. We've got a whole thread here below that one from Charlie Kirk. Poll worker says that they're, they have two machines. One is down, and the other is spitting out 25% of ballots, and their ballots will be taken somewhere else to get recorded. Reports this coming in from all over Maricopa this morning. If this happens to you. Don't get out of line. I'm in Bell County, Texas. The voting machines are down in Temple. No one has been able to vote all day. People calling around report very few polling places working in the entire country. Country. Well, it sure looks that way. Seems to be the norm. Arizona, again, Maricopa having big issues. Whew. And it just continues. Election fraud is the Democrats' bread and butter. We know it. We know they know it. And they know we know. But they don't care. As long as it works, they will keep doing it. Of course, that is an absolute lunacy. Conspiracy theorist, this patriot guitar addict from North Carolina, is a quack. Um, we have uh, fair and free elections. Um, yeah. What is it against law? Uh, photos and videos. In here. No, I can have a video if this sure, is not working. Though. This is not okay. Did it work? Yes. yes okay. That's awful. Like, this is wrong. If it, hey, this isn't working, if these machines are working, this is a big issue. What is it against law? Uh, photos and videos. In no, here. I can have a video if this sure, is not working. Though. This is not okay. Did it work? Yes. yes okay. Another example. And another one, Charlie Kirk, again, same one about the polls. Another one, again, Bell County. And another one, 20%, Secretary of State Katie Hobbs, responsible. Uh, vote her and the other radical Democrats out of office by showing them today in record numbers. Send a message and stay until your vote is counted. Of course, that was the clip that I played earlier. And one last one. All right, we already saw that one. So that's all the tweets that I found for now, guys. This is absolutely incredible to see. If you found anything of value, definitely hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Even if it's just a thumbs up, subscribe, share with family, friends, hit the notification bell. This. <laughs> wow. I don't even know what to say.